So President Trump is planning Made in America Week, uh, which on the face of it, I mean, look, that sounds great, right? I mean, we always, progressives always talk about how we have to bring manufacturing back to the U.S., we have to give our fellow citizens uh, good high-paying jobs, and we have to stop, you know, exploiting slave labor or near-slave labor in foreign countries. So that's all fine and dandy. In fact, this is an idea that you would think a progressive could come up with. Yeah, you know, Made in America Week. In other words, like, fuck TPP and NAFTA Week. That's, an that's another way of saying Made in America Week. Uh, but here's why, of course, it's hilarious and hypocritical coming from Donald Trump. Uh, take a look at this. We know of at least 12 countries where Trump products were manufactured. China, the Netherlands, Mexico... India, Turkey, Slovenia, Honduras, Germany, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Vietnam, and South Korea. Further, Trump products transited other countries through the packaging and shipping process, meaning workers in more than 12 countries contributed to getting many of Trump's products made, packaged, and delivered to the United States. So, classic Trump disconnect and hypocrisy. Do as I say, not as I do, is the way of describing it. So when I, yeah, make your products in America, that's what you gotta do. That's what we care about in this administration. America first. But wait, you have your products made everywhere else but America. <laughs> you 12 different countries? And many of those countries you've publicly maligned. I mean, China, China, oh my God, trade policy. They're so terrible with trade policy and they manipulate their currency and this and that. Anyway, when am I going to get my shipment of my stuff from China? Mexico, we're going to build a wall. We're going to build the wall and then find a way for my products to get around the wall or under the wall or over the wall because I exploit the labor in Mexico. Tremendous. Believe me. So why would you expect anybody to follow these rules that you say you want to lay out, but you don't lay out, by the way? Why would you expect anybody to make their products in America if you can't even make your products in America? You don't get to do, you can't ha you don't get to do that. You don't get to say, and hey, make, everybody's got to make it in America. Come on now, manufacture here. But I'm going to keep it in the 12 different countries. Wait, what? What? Uh, by the way, I'm not done with the hypocrisy on this. Bibles and beds are some of the only American-made products used at Trump's D.C. hotel. And then when you dive into the details of that article, 21 of 31 items in his hotel's are not made in America. 21 of 31 items are not made in America. And then, of course, there was the big story about how uh, Ivanka uses underpaid Bangladeshi labor. She All of Ivanka's products are made overseas. I think with Trump, there's at least some that are in the U.S. All of Ivanka's are overseas. And then when uh, a reporter actually did a decent job and asked uh, the White House... Well, hold on now. They're pull they're doing Made in America week, but does that mean that we can get a commitment from Donald Trump that he and his family will from now on be making all their products in America? The response was, we'll have to get back to you on that. In other words, fuck no, overlook our hypocrisy. I'm not going to do that. And how arrogant of them to think like, it's okay, we'll just dupe everybody in the country and make them think that we're all rah-rah American manufacturing when our actions prove otherwise. But, you know, people can see what you're doing. It's not that hard to, to realize how big of a hypocrite you are and how you make all your products elsewhere and, you know, how you're just a liar. There's something that's really off-putting about somebody who's that shameless in how they lie. Like, you would think that any normal person in the situation Trump's in would try to, like, well, I mean, now I have no choice. I have to follow my own edicts. I have to bring jobs back over here. I mean, or else I, I'll be the biggest joke on the planet. But it's just, they just don't do it, and they don't care. <laughs> they just don't, and they're relying on a shitty media to not expose them and hammer away on the things where they are most guilty and where there should be the most outrage. And most of the time, that's what happens. The media is too busy... Uh, with their head up their own ass on this Russia issue, that with stuff like this, it gets off the hook. Now, to be fair, many outlets did cover this one, 
but it's just something that doesn't, for whatever reason, they don't cover it with the same amount of outrage and focus and detail as you have with the Russia issue. So, you know, I think that covering something like this endlessly with outrage and focus, see, that's justified outrage, that's merited outrage. I think something like this would chip away at his favorability rating a lot more than something like the Russia issue. Now, Trump's already the least popular president at this point in his presidency in the past 70 years. So he's already hurting. There's no doubt about that. But to me, if the media focused more on, you just signed a bill that guts internet privacy rights that only 6% of Americans wanted. If they focus on this, if they focus on the fact that Trump signed an executive order that lets coal companies pollute the waterways. If they focus on the fact that he's uh, escalating war in Iraq and Syria and elsewhere. If you focus on those things, I feel like his approval rating would be like 10% at this point, as opposed to the 36% that it is. So, but that's just me. And that's why you guys come here, because I think many of you tend to agree with that line of thinking. But, um, Made in America Week, <laughs> from an administration and a president and a family that doesn't make their stuff in America.